I created a capsule wardrobe for myself back in 2017 and it has been a complete game changer. I don't plan on ever going back and today I have a bunch of tips that'll help you create your very own spring and summer wardrobe. Welcome to Tiny and Tidy, I'm Vishali and I like to share content all about decluttering, simplifying and organizing your home and life. If you're new here, I came up with the name Tiny and Tidy because we live in a fairly tiny space considering we're a family of five and it's also pretty tidy because I truly am passionate about organization. All right, now that you're all caught up, let's get into it. If you're not familiar with what a capsule wardrobe is, it's uh, basically a wardrobe with a fairly small number of pieces. There isn't a set number, you just do whatever works for you. The pieces are usually basic, neutral, and classic pieces that can easily be mixed and matched to create a variety of outfits. Check out this video if you want to know more about how I created my capsule wardrobe. Also, on my website tinyandtidy.co, I have a free guide that you can download to help you build your own capsule wardrobe step by step. I'll also link it in the description box down below. And on my blog, you'll find several blog posts all about capsule wardrobes. So clearly capsule wardrobes is something that I'm really into. And the reason why is because it's life changing when you have one. First off, you're gonna love everything in your wardrobe because when you make a capsule wardrobe, you only keep what you love. It's really easy to organize and manage because there are fewer pieces than you typically have. It's so quick and easy to get ready because everything coordinates and can be mixed and matched. You can also buy better quality pieces because you'll be buying a lot less. Since I've already gone in such great detail in my other video, my free guide, and on my blog on how to create a capsule wardrobe, in today's video, I'm gonna focus on my spring and summer capsule wardrobe and share some tips related specifically to those seasons. First off, if you live in a larger home and have a bigger closet, you won't even have to do seasonal changes. You can lay out your entire wardrobe in your closet. But since I live in a smaller space and my husband and I share our closet, I do have to make seasonal changes. So I like to combine my spring and summer wardrobe as one season and my fall and winter wardrobe as a second season. This just makes things easier. I really don't think there's a need to do it four times a year. Twice works perfectly fine. Also, I don't switch my wardrobe right at the beginning of spring. I like to wait until late spring to make the change because here in Canada, it takes a while for things to warm up. So there's no point pulling out my shorts too early. A lot of the pieces that are part of my fall and winter wardrobe carry over into my spring and summer wardrobe. For example, my t-shirts, tank tops, blazers, jeans, skirts, and dresses are worn all year round. I'll just wear a cardigan or blazer over my tank tops and t-shirts in the fall and winter, and I'll wear tights with my skirts and dresses. So in my first capsule wardrobe video, I explained that at the beginning of the season, I like to turn all of my hangers the opposite direction of how you'd normally hang your hangers. Then once I wear the item, I flip the hanger the correct way. The reason I do that is because it allows me to see which pieces were worn and which ones were not. So the first thing I do when changing over from my fall winter wardrobe to my spring and summer one is I'll look at all of the items that are on the hangers that haven't been flipped around and decide if I still want to keep the pieces or donate them. Once I'm done doing that, I then remove everything from my side of the closet. It's essential that you do this so that you can see every single piece and make proper decisions. Once I've cleared out my closet, I'll then vacuum it and make sure it's clean. I'll then start going through every single piece that I've removed and decide whether I'd still like to keep it or donate it. If I don't love it, I usually get rid of it. I still feel like I have too many pieces in my wardrobe, so this is a good way for me to start to reduce the number of items that I have. As I'm deciding whether to keep it or not, I also decide if I'd like to include it in my spring and summer wardrobe or does it need to be put away with all of my fall and winter stuff. My closet has labeled closet dividers, so it's easy to see where everything goes. I also have these boxes from Ikea for folded items. So if it's something I like to wear in the spring or summer, I put it back in my closet. If it needs to be stored away, I just make a separate pile and we'll deal with all of that later. Once I've gone through all of the items from my closet, I'll then go through the spring and summer items that I put away the previous year and decide what I'd like to keep and add to my spring and summer wardrobe and which ones I'd like to donate. Now it's time to store away all of my fall and winter clothing, shoes and boots. I'll also pull out all of my spring and summer shoes and sandals and make sure that they're all visible. 
My wardrobe mainly consists of white, gray, black, and denim pieces. Those are all very neutral colors that easily coordinate with one another. My spring and summer wardrobe basically consists of shorts, skirts, dresses, tank tops, t-shirts, jeans, leggings, a couple cardigans, a blazer, a jean jacket, and a lightweight coat. As for shoes, I like to have runners, Birkenstocks, Converse, loafers, and rain boots. I put my heels away because it's very unlikely that I'll even wear them. I really don't like wearing heels unless I absolutely have to. If you want to see specific outfits in greater detail and learn how I mix and match the pieces in my wardrobe, then check out my capsule wardrobe IGTV series over on Instagram. There's my Instagram handle. Every month I post uh, an IGTV video related to my capsule wardrobe so that you can see exactly what it looks like. These videos are also posted on my Facebook page in case you're not on Instagram. Also on my website, I have a shop and if you click on the style section, I've linked to most of the pieces in my capsule wardrobe over there. So hopefully all of that content will motivate you to build your own capsule wardrobe. I promise you that it is so worth the effort. It truly is life changing. But I know that dealing with all of our clothing and decluttering our closets can be overwhelming. And that's why in my Clear the Clutter membership, I will help you with the decluttering process step by step. We'll work on your entire home and within a few months, your home will be fully decluttered and properly organized. Clothing can really be overwhelming, so I'll go into great detail to help you break it down into manageable steps. So if that's something you'd like help and guidance with, make sure to sign up for my Clear the Clutter membership. The link is in the description box down below, or you can find out more over on my website. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below and share this video with someone that you know will find it useful. Next week, I'll be sharing my monthly must-haves video. You'll find out what three items are currently sparking joy in my life. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Follow me over on Instagram and Facebook because that's where I share daily tips and tricks to help you get even more organized. And make sure to check out one of these two videos for even more practical and useful content. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye.